Welcome back to Brain Flow TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. Lady Sykes said, child support should be solely to support the child. There should be a maximum cap that cannot be exceeded despite income. Child support should be set based on what is reasonably cost to support a child, then divide it by two as there are two parents. If one parent earns considerably more, then I understand having the parent cover health insurance and education, but these payments should be made directly to those institutions. No woman or man should be allowed to use their child as a meal ticket. No woman or man should have a court authorize them to live off the hard work of others under the disguise of child support. Any parent who does not contribute their share to their child's maintenance should be held accountable. Two parents and both should equally support their child. Now, with that statement so eloquently put, I have to agree. This story today, we're going to talk about future and future's baby mama. And he is now offering her $1,000 per month in child support. So this article says that future's $1,000 per month child support offer to his child's mother, Elisa Rain or Eliza Rain Seraphin is rejected as they share daughter Rain. One, her lawyer said his proposal was so that he could say he paid something. Future and Seraphin were involved between 2016 and 2018. Forbes estimated Future's income at $19.5 million for 2019 alone. Atlanta native has, is also the father of six kids, three boys, and three girls. Now, remember we did a story before where we told you that Future, this same Future, was brought into court after this same baby mom had him all over social media dragging him, talking about how he is not a good father because he doesn't even own up to the child. And it went on for a while until they ended up in court. And Future was actually ordered by a judge to do a DNA test to establish a base that this is or isn't his child. Well, they went, they did the DNA test. He is the father. That was the result that came back. And now they're trying to work on custody, visitation rights, all that other stuff. And of course, child support. Now, she is asking for a whole lot of money. And Future is offering $1,000 per month. Eliza Rain Serafin is passing on Future's offer for $1,000 a month in child support for their one-year-old daughter, Rain One. In New Court Papers, Bossip reported that Serafin rejected the 36-year-old rapper's proposal of $1,000 monthly and health insurance for the child under the condition that she no longer publicly speaks about him or the ongoing legal matter. So he also wants to buy her silence. He wants her probably to sign some non-disclosure or some kind of paperwork that would forbid her from going around talking about their situation. I have discussed your proposal order with my client and we are not in agreement. Not. Seraphin's lawyer, Brandon Rothbart, told Future's attorney, Ramona Liberty, via an email earlier this month. The outlet reported, Should you have a reasonable child support amount to offer, then I am happy to discuss it with my client. So in other words, take your behind back to the drawing board, come back with a better number. You trying to lowball us. We not having it. That is what her attorney is basically saying. Rothbart 
told People Magazine that the Mask Off artist, which is Future, his proposal was a little more than a gambit. So he could say, hey, I actually do pay child support. The attorney said that the rap artist, whose real name is Navadius Wilburn, has not yet, <laughs> that's Future's, Future's real name, Future sounds so cool, right? Navadius Wilburn, <laughs> Navadius Wilburn, you know he's from the South, Navadius Wilburn is his real name, he has not yet, they even calling this man's government name out on social media, Navadius Wilburn has not yet submit to the courts his income, making it impossible to square the numbers with family court guidelines and determine a monthly total is what her lawyer is saying. So one of the things that the judge also ordered is that he turn over certain paperwork. Well, his lawyers have counteracted that in court because they want some paperwork turned over, but not 100% disclosure of his personal information because they feel that that can be used against him in other ways if it hits the public air. In previous court documents, according to Bossip, Rothbart said that the number was closer to $53,000 per month, they told Forbes magazine, toted his 2019 income of $19.5 million in just that year alone. So basically, what her lawyer is saying, girl, if he is making $19.5 million a year, then for sure, 53000 per month, you can definitely get that. The case, Seraphin took the lawyer, to, took the rapper to court over paternity and custody arrangements. The blast reported will resume next month. So they'll be back in court next month where they will be talking about custody and they'll be talking about, they'll be arguing their different points on how much should really be paid and all this other stuff. Future and Seraphim were involved for a number of years from 2016 to 2018. So that's roughly two years, right? And he previously took her to court alleging that she was defaming him with lies, but that case was tossed out of the court. Oh, Future got time too, huh? He's spending money taking her to court for defamation of character. Boy, you can find something better to do. I think you better start writing more hit songs. Because in my opinion, this is the way that the system is set up. And I think for sure she is going to get her $53,000 per month. If she don't get $53,000 per month, she's probably going to get something close to it. But he better be prepared to drop a couple bands every month. Future and Seraphin, this ain't looking good. Earlier this year, TMZ reported that a rapper was telling people that Seraphin purposely got pregnant to set herself up monetarily and that she calls the child her check baby. Now, that was what was said about her. It was said about her by her friend or so-called friend who is no longer her friend. And it was also said by Future that she was calling the baby a check baby. Maybe she was in it for the uh, love. And that is what she said. She said she was in it for the love. She was into Future. She didn't care about what he had. She knows that he has nice cars, expensive toys, she said. Things that the average person doesn't have and he has the money to afford it and big homes his house is huge and all that other stuff and if she was really into it for the money she would have been looking up the value of these things from day one and calculating how to get to it from day one she wasn't interested in that she said she was interested in love but since the love didn't work out because future is wild like that and stick his wheelie wheelie in everything that comes by. Hence the reason he has seven kids by six different women. Or is it something like that? Or six kids by six different women. Either way. She left the relationship. However, she was left with carrying a child. Now since you violated in that way. Then let it be about the child. So in essence, she is the check baby. Or the child is a check baby. Right. Whether we want to say it as she planned it to make it that way versus it worked out that way. It is what it is. 
My sad thing is, and I'm going to say it again, Future should know better. Future should have known better. You don't make all that money every every year and go breeding up having random children everywhere with many different women. Eventually, your riches are going to dwindle. Your hard-earned money are going is going to be going to these people. You know the system don't play, and you know how that child support work. Either way, end of the day, this is rich people's problems because $19.5 million in one year what he made, he is well equipped to take care of his children, even if he decides to have 20 of them financially. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. You think she's going to get that $53,000 a month that she's asking for? Or do you think that the judge is going to say, nope, you're going to get about $1,500? Do you think that she deserves $53,000 per month? Do you think that it is okay for a woman to go through the child support process and ask for these extravagant numbers? After all, let's be honest, does it really take $53,000 per month to take care of a child? I'll catch you in the comment section and stay tuned for Rick Ross and his drama in court because he has been ordered to pay some money as well. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell right next to it so you're notified when new videos are posted on BrainFlow TV. I'm out. Peace.